In this video tutorial, what we're going to do is apply Kirchhoff's laws to solve some problems in mixed circuits. Just a quick recap, Kirchhoff's voltage law tells us that the voltage gains in a circuit are equal to the voltage drops. Kirchhoff's current law says that current entering a junction is equal to the current exiting a junction in a circuit. We've got four lovely equations. So what we're going to do is sort of just apply these equations and solve some problems involving circuits. So in this first example, we're going to apply Kirchhoff's voltage law to solve for some unknown voltage voltages here. This is telling me that I've got 40 volts at my source here and my current's flowing through my circuit hitting these various lamps and we're measuring the voltage at these various lamps throughout the circuit. So we want to solve for V2 and V4. Picture the current flowing through this circuit. This current's going to flow through these lamps and make its way back to my power source. Our formula says the voltage leaving my source is going to be equal to the sum of all those voltages throughout my series circuit. And I know that my source has a voltage of 40 volts. So I'm just going to sub in these individual voltages. Okay, we're not really looking at our V4 yet. We're going to get to that in a minute. Okay, so substituting those values gives me the following. As you can see here, I'm able to solve for V2. Okay, I've only got one unknown here. So just doing some fancy algebra, I could just solve for V2. Okay, so that's just an application of Kirchhoff's voltage law for series circuits. The voltage used throughout my circuit, that's going to be equal to the voltage gain at the beginning. So you remember my coulombs are picking up energy as they leave the battery and that energy is spent on these lamps and the energy spent is going to be equal to the energy gained initially. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is solve for V4. So what I'm going to do is I'm now going to extend my series circuit, okay? And we're just going to pretend that we're a coulomb of electrons moving through our circuit, but this time we're passing through this lamp over here. So what we're going to do is use the same law. We're looking at a series circuit. If I add all of my individual voltages, they're going to be equal to the initial voltage that's gained from the source. So subbing all that information in, I'm able to solve for my unknown just due to the fact that it's the only unknown in the equation. Okay, so rearranging to solve for V4, I get 20 volts. Just remember, Kirchhoff's voltage law says that voltage gains are equal to voltage drops. So once we've solved for V4, it's actually kind of interesting to compare V4 to V3. Kirchhoff's voltage law for parallel circuits says that voltages in parallel must be equal. If I compare V3 to V4, these two guys should be equal according to Kirchhoff's voltage law. Here we got 20 volts for V4, which happens to be the same voltage in V3. Okay, so just kind of a neat connection between these two laws. So another example, this time applying Kirchhoff's current law, we're looking for currents 1, 2, and 4 in this schematic diagram. So this is the same circuit as first example, but this time we're looking at current instead of voltage. Using Kirchhoff's current law, we know that current entering any junction is equal to the current exiting that junction. So what we're going to do is take a look at the circuit. I want the current going into this junction here. So I've got a current leaving my source that's 0.4 amperes. So I know that the current that's going to enter at this junction here has to be the same as this current here. Okay, and then I also know that the current leaving that junction has to be 0.4 amperes as well. Okay, and since that current is leaving this lamp, and entering this lamp, we can conclude that it's the same current that left this battery source over here. So my current leaving my source is 0.4 amperes, which means that I1 and I2 are also 0.4 amperes. Now let's take a look at my parallel connection here. Remember that I had 0.4 amperes traveling through my circuit and it's arriving at this junction right here. So I've got 0.4 amperes entering this junction. Picture a highway, okay? This is like a really, really busy highway and we've opened two different lanes to sort of free up the traffic here. Within these two lanes, I've got toll booths Then we're driving in the state. I get to this junction, 0.4 amperes. What Kirchhoff's current law tells us is that the current leaving this junction has to also be 0.4 amperes. Using Kirchhoff's current law for parallel circuits, I know that these two currents have to add up to get the current entering and leaving the junction. Pretend that you're driving on the highway and some cars go this way, some cars go this way. In the end, it's the same flow of traffic. We've just taken two different routes. Okay, so I know that this current and this current are going to add to give me a current of 0.4 amperes. That's what came in, that's what's leaving. I've got 0.1 amperes for the third current. I don't know my fourth current. I can just simply solve for that using basic algebra here. 